The Ricochet dashboard is going to give you further insight to your inventory and sales information, but it's only a feature available for admins. Managers and employees will not have access to this information. Now, when you first log into the software, you will be brought to the dashboard screen. But if you ever need to come back to the screen, you can click the dashboard icon in the upper left hand corner. Now, the first two modules are going to be store summary and hourly sales. Now, the one thing to keep in mind about these two modules is that they're only going to focus on the current day's sales information. So that way, at any time, you can see how your sales are doing for that particular day. The first section is Store Summary. The Store Summary module is going to show you your overall sales, number of transactions, products sold, and the average transaction value. Next, you'll be able to see your cost. This is going to take into account things like how much you need to pay out your consigners or vendors for items sold today, or store inventory cost. And finally, give you your net sales. Next to that is going to be an hourly sales module. And this is going to show you all of your transactions broken down by time of day. Next is the aged inventory module. And this is going to give you a breakdown of your consigned and retail or store owned inventory. Now this is only going to focus on in stock items. First, there's going to be a pie graph to show you how much of your inventory is consigned and how much of your inventory is store owned. Next is the age column, which is going to show you your overall price of goods for consigned and store owned items. So if you added up the price tags of all of your consigned or retail inventory, that total will display here. Next is going to be the cost column, which is going to show you your overall cost for consigned and store inventory goods. Then you will see your net totals for both consigned and store owned inventory. And the number in the lower right hand corner of this module will show you if you sold everything in your store, how much money you stand to make. Now the next group of modules are going to allow for a little bit more customization as far as dates go. You're going to have buttons to allow to see info based off today, this week, this month, or by clicking the date picker, you can choose a custom date period. The first module is the store stats. This is going to give you an average daily revenue, average items sold per day, average products per transaction, average transactions per day, average transaction value, and show your profit margin. Next is the consignment stats. This is going to show you your new consigned products, new consigners, average new products per consigner, average new consigned products per day, your sell through rate, and your sales within a contract rate. Now the sell through percentage is the percentage of items sold versus the items entered in stock during the time period. So if you added in 1,000 items into the system in the month of June and 800 items were sold during that time period, you would have a sell-through rate of 80%. The sales before contract rate is the percentage of items sold at full price prior to any auto discount rule or expiration dates. So if half your inventory sells at an aged price or after an auto discount, then this window would show 50%. The next section is your daily sales, which is going to show you your overall sales depending on the date period. So if you choose month, you'll see all of your sales from the previous month. Next, you'll have an employee performance module, which will show you your sales based on employee between any date period you chose. Then you'll have your top consigners and top customers, showing the consigner's name, product sold, and their sales total. That will be the same thing for the customers module, which will show the top five customers, the products purchased, and how much money they spent in the store. Now the last module is online orders, 
If you're using the Ricochet e-commerce add-on, this module will be available so you can see all current orders within the time period that you've chosen. Now, if you want to show less or show more or reorganize some of these modules, you can do so by clicking the Configure Layout icon on the right-hand side of the screen. This is going to bring up a drag and drop window where you can either reorder or decide to take away specific modules. So if you want to take away your top customers or top consigners, or maybe move your online orders to the top of the page, you can do so here and then go ahead and click Save.